Hello and welcome back to another episode on Fichta, the Maze Plus Experiment map. Now, I am at the state of opening my barn doors because I am going to hook up the mowers and take them to be sold and I will also sell this tractor. So, between last time and now I made a few... Uh, what's it called? A few plans of how we're gonna continue. Uh, because it's now a new season, new summer, or spring, should I say. And we have to, or I want to make some changes. And I also want to plan how we're going to go about our cattle feeding. And let's put the PTOs on. I don't want them flapping around while on the road. Uh, so, the first thing on today's agenda was selling the milk. That's already been taken care of. And now I'm gonna take the tractor and mowers to be sold and I'm gonna bring back a new tractor with the new mower setup uh, that I think is going to work a lot better now. Is this, why isn't this not working? <sighs> it was just working, I mean I watched the trailer, okay anyhow. I'm not gonna wash the mowers, I'm gonna let the shop take care of that. Uh, but, yeah, so, for our sugar beet, that can be turned into cut sugar beet, that can be used in our TMR making, uh, I am going to lease or buy field number 63. That's all the way up there at the dairy, in that part of the map. Uh, it's around 44,000 uh, euros, uh, but if I ran out of money or run out of money right now updating my equipment, I will just lease that field because it's gonna be easier. Uh, so first thing first, this beautiful fence will have to go, the mowers will have to go, everything you see here is going to be sold. I'm not sure how much we're gonna get for it. I hope a lot. Uh, let's repair. Should we repaint? Okay, so current value is 5349. If I repaint for 1000. Five. Yeah, okay. We get a bit more than we pay for repainting. So it seems worth doing it. So. Ooh, 30,000 to repaint. Man. Okay, let's see if we get 30,000 more for this. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we are standing at 339,000. And we're gonna get ourselves a Valtra Q series. And this is this one because... If we, I mean, when we are going to have the, a um, grain grist mill, which is in this category over here. So if we have it on grain mill, we need 280 horsepower, which is uh, a lot. And I want a tractor that actually is capable of this. And this tractor is capable of this. So let's customize our new beauty. Engine setup, it needs to be at least two, 280. So this would work. But this one is only 10,000 more, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this setup. Uh, wheels can stay the same, roof can stay the same, reverse driving, yes, I want that. For the mowing. Okay, door can stow which is really not important. Uh, GPS, I don't need that. Main color, we can keep it the same, even though, yeah, these colors are very beautiful. This blue-gray kind of thing. Or maybe blue. Yeah, there. It, it's very beautiful, the color schemes. Uh, but I think I'm gonna keep it black. And ring color white. Let's customize the plate so it's F for Fichtal. 
and then we're gonna do some rumber number changing front and back okay and let's buy so we're gonna be left with around 80,000 yeah 77 okay now step number two let's get the mowers and I downloaded a mower mod that actually supports as you can see it has a hitch over here and it has a hitch over here that means you can put more mowers together and you can use them as one setup so that's 42 and let's get the original one pottinger let's buy this so these two mowers together require 230 horsepower which now we actually do have and there's now i need another thing this is a weight and i'm gonna get something big uh da -da, teddy winkel no let's go with akko 2.3 tons bye now let's put this setup together yeah boy that's such a beautiful tractor. And you know why I bought this? Because look at this. Okay. Is there any... Oh, shift B. We can turn around and then we can use the tractor as the... Rear driving. So you can drive it like a forklift. Ain't that amazing? So let's quote unquote reverse <laughs> to put on our weight. Ah, just a little bit more. Okay, and let's go. <laughs> let's go around. Ah, this is so funny. Wow. Yeah, I, I need to remember. That reverse means forward when you're when we're in this position. Okay, so the mowers are facing forward, the cutting edge. And now I think I just need to reverse a little bit more. Oh, the other way. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. So now you see we have double mower set up on the back. And if we unfold both of them, it's gonna look something like this. And this will actually be the mowing direction. And even if we make a tighter turn, it's not going to matter because we are going to be able to cut everything in one go. Anyway, uh, I don't want to be driving in this direction, so let me turn around again. <laughs> awesome. Let's put beacons on and let's go. And this is a machine. Let's look at this setup. Now there is a real question if uh, I'll even be able to put all this into our shed. And I think I'm gonna find out very quickly. So I've checked in one of my previous videos and actually we are not yet it, the grass is not yet ready to be cut it does have flowers on when it's ready so yeah we are currently still waiting for our grass to regrow after winter but we are ready for when the time comes so we are left with 19,000 let me see if I will actually fit this in I will actually not fit this in. Okay. Another. No. 
another way is if I maybe unfold and then put it back in, hold it back together and drop it. Let's see if this now works. I have to be quick about it. Yeah, it was too slow. Yeah, nah. This isn't gonna work. Okay. Uh, which means our mowers are gonna have to live somewhere else. Gonna have to find another space. Maybe. Maybe these doors are high enough. They look higher. And we are still empty over here, so it just might work. <laughs> but look at this setup. <laughs> Woohoo! I love it. With a beautiful Valtra. And the top of the doors is actually oh so close. Okay, maybe from the other side. <laughs> ah. Yeah, issues, issues. These farms are very old and they are not made for machines like this. This is too tall. Too tall for its own good. Okay, let's try this angle. Are we gonna fit? We actually are gonna fit! Alright. Now question number two. Will I be able to maybe squeeze the mowers in? Ah, that's hitting the wall. No, the setup is too long. Okay, doesn't matter. I have a way to store my mowers, which is over here. Now let's see if it will allow me to disengage and it will. And let me do another thing. So if I go to the rear mower and lower it down, I can't lower it down. Why can't I lower it down? Okay, well, let's say this is good. It does want a tip, but yeah, in real life, of course, you could lower them both to the same level. I'm not sure why this isn't working, but yeah, that's maybe if I uncouple. Yeah, of course. Give me a minute. Okay, so if I uncouple the mower. <clears throat> it actually stays upright and we can have them both both stored in here Good news Now uh, is there anything else to do for today? Yeah, I wanted to show you or tell you about my plan and the plan is I will Buy or lease uh, field number 63 which already has sugar beet in it growing uh, if I want to buy it it will cost me 45,000 euros. I don't have that money at the moment, so when time approaches, I will lease it or buy it if I have money then. Uh, so that's for the sugar beet uh, part of the TMR. Then I will need grass silage and maize silage and grain grist. But grass silage and maize silage are a must, uh, because without them we can't successfully make our TMR. So grass silage is gonna be made uh, fairly soon I think because st we still have some hay left over and that is not really a priority uh, but the grass silage is priority so the next time we cut it will probably be tomorrow or something like that we are going to use uh, this beauty and start making our grass silage. Oh look, a plane. You can see it right in the left high, left upper corner of the screen. What a nice feature of the map. 
how cool um okay i got distracted again uh yeah but the weather as i was looking the weather in april may <laughs> it's gonna be all rainy so we might have to do all the silage the grass silage in tomorrow's day and i think there's nothing else to do for us today uh as far as the may silage uh, is considered uh, i will lease a field or maybe plant a field because uh, maize is planted uh, later on in the year uh so corn 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 yeah it's planted in april so we might uh lease a field that has that already in or we may we might lease a field and plant corn in and do all the things that needs to be done uh for us to have the best yield possible and preferably that uh, field is somewhere close to the farm uh, because i don't want to be driving all around the map just to get the silage here because you have loads of silage when you're doing maize it's a tall crop Okay, another day's milk sold, uh, we got 14,000 for that, so our bank account is looking a bit more healthy than it was yesterday. Uh, we are still in the same episode, and the grass now has flowers in it, so it's ready to be cut. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And in the next episode, we're gonna row, collect, and make our grass silage, or start producing our grass silage. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I should go from the other way around. Yeah, to put our mowers back on. This is our modern tractor. Yeah, it's a beauty. I still have to get used to the proportions because the you sit so high up, it's difficult to judge where exactly your wheels are at least for me because i've always been used to having all to medium machines so this is a new experience good how do i get in <laughs> jump over And away we go. This is actually the perfect place for these mowers. Uh, the way the gates or the doors arch up, uh, it's perfect to accommodate the arch of our mowers. So, <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Got to the field, and now for the fun part. Let me reverse my seat <laughs> how cool is that i mean who wouldn't enjoy enjoy this okay okay let me unfold the rear mower and turn it on and let's do the same with the butterfly mowers And turn them on. Uh, let's set the speed to around 15. I think that's gonna be great. And let's lower both. You can see they go both down in the same. Oh, right. Uh, let's switch conditioner on. Because it's not been raining for a long time. And away we go. And this is how we do it.
Okay, turning the mowers down. Off. Uh, now I did forget to turn the conditioner on on the front mower. Or the first pass. So I'm gonna have to remedy that with a, win uh, with a tether. But otherwise uh, we can row the field up and put it into forage harvester. And since I'm going a very short way, I just... I left uh, the rear <laughs> view sitting position. I mean, how cool is that, man? And the good thing about this is we raise and lower our mowers with uh, one button. Whoops. They're off. Okay. Let's go again. Uh, so yeah, we raise and lower our mowers with a touch of one button. And we cover quite some ground with it. And it's basically the same as driving a combine with the rear wheel steering and the front wheels being as big as they are. Well, front, quote unquote front, <laughs> if you are sitting like this. And it looks like we have a great yield on this field. You can see it's uh, dark green. And that's uh, probably because we limed all our grass fields in, well, before after the last harvest so the pH of uh, the, these fields is uh, optimized and it should be as the yield should be as good as it can be all right Let's turn them both off again and fold them up. And let's reverse our steering wheel position. Gonna do this a lot, I think. <laughs> and we are ready for transport. So now for the forest field, the meadow and we are done yeah these vultures really are machines a capable tractor very versatile very useful and judging by our um, yield map we got a lot of grass on that field over there we just mowed uh, we got around average yield on the field we mowed the first and I wonder what the yield will be in the last field we'll have to see about this but our wheat is growing our barley is growing and I think it's even a stage further which is good it's going to be ready to harvest in a couple months and the crop looks really nice, really thick, no weeds, so yeah, we're looking quite good. And this 305 horsepower Valtra is having no trouble climbing any obstacles, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that, with this purchase. I might change the color of the tractor maybe sometime when I respray it, but otherwise, yeah, I'm very happy with the purchase. Okay, now for the last yield, we can see the animation of turning the seat around from the outside. And then we reappear. Now I do want to test the course play. 
so let me try and load this. So 8.4 is okay. Uh, multiple tools, yeah, we can have the same, the one, um, or is it two? Number of vehicles, no, it's just one. Uh, number of headlands, let's go with two. Start work on headland, headland coordinates smooth. And let's go. Generate field work. And start the job. Let me see if it actually activates both mowers. Okay, it does. Uh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Let's go to the first waypoint, yeah. Okay. So our mowers should be set to... Two, two. Okay, let me up this. Uh, conditioners on, yeah, okay. Okay, and let's see. I wonder how good it will behave around this field. It should do pretty good. I'm thinking, are we wider than 8.4? Uh, let me check our mower setup. This is... No, 8.4. It's okay. Because it's getting quite close to the edge. And I wondered if we have the wrong setup in our generator. But no, we don't. Okay, so this means we are actually able to put our mowers into the field and let the worker do them. Awesome. So this is headland number two. Uh, Yield-wise, if we look at the minimap, uh, we are basically the same that we were before. Okay, so it does miss something. That means that I should probably put my headlands to sharp, not smooth cornering. Let me see what it does here. Oh, uh, here it's okay. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the setup I bought. I think it's gonna be good for our farm. So those few tufts of grass that are left, I can do that by myself when the worker is done. <laughs> and now what? Looks like it's unsure what to do next. Oh no, it just had to get it, get itself set up for this. Wow, that was close to the edge. <laughs> I was holding my breath. It's not gonna go in. Yeah, I think this is gonna work quite well. Okay, let's go to time lapse.
Okay, let me turn my seat around now. <laughs> A roller coaster. Anyway, if you have been paying attention to the minimap, you can see that we have a uh, slightly better yield than we had before. Okay, why can't I turn the rear mower on? Okay, what's wrong? Maybe I need to unfold. Of course, I need to unfold. I mean, what am I thinking? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this little piece of grass that was left over. I can do that with the butterfly mower. Okay, why won't it work? Yeah, this is all kinds of messed up. Doesn't work. Let me recouple them back together and see if it works now. What in the world? Okay, I'm not sure what is going on, but I can't seem to turn the mowers on. So I'm gonna leave this. Um, I, sh I will apologize to everyone uh, wanting the fields to be done perfectly, but yeah, here we are. I don't know why this is happening. I hope it's not a permanent bug, but yeah, here we are. All the fields are done, and in the next episode we are going to row them up collect them and make some silage uh, I think that this will be yeah a whole episode's uh, job so I'm leaving you here I would like to thank you for watching I hope you had fun take care and see you next time bye bye <laughs>